What is up, everybody? This is Kyle from the TF Review, finally with my laser beak review. After, gosh, a week of going out, recording, coming back due to the heat and to all the flies that are happening around the camera, I'm finally able to get this done, so I'm excited to share this toy with you. Um, it's awesome, and I will tell you why it is awesome in this review. So here we have Laserbeak in his, um, weird avatar helicopter Pandora mode, and I'm going to be completely honest when I say that I was, you know, in the group originally that did nothing but hate on this toy. And now that I own it, and now that I've seen Dark of the Moon, I have turned 180 degrees. I love this toy. I love everything this toy is. I love everything this toy stands for. I love how well this represents the character, minus the weird avatar helicopter mode. And I just think that this is a must buy. I'm gonna briefly go over the the, uh, the hover mode, whatever it is, because it's useless. It really is absolutely useless. So, I mean, I mean, like, there's just not much to say. I mean, look at it. And that's it, really. Now let's get to the meat of this toy. The awesomeness of this toy, which is the bird mode. To transform Mr. Beak to um, his bird mode, basically you're going to want to pull head down. And then pull his feet out. And then flip his heel back, which is actually a mech tech port. I'll get into that a little later, do the same... onto this side and then you can see he's got these little flame things that stick out you can just position them however you want I like to I like to have them back like that and there we've got his you know his feet already also yeah flip this back Okay, now for his head, you want to take this part and lift it up. It already sort of came undone while I was doing his feet. And fold it down, and that will reveal his bird head. And then you just want to pull his bird head out. And then take this, lock it back into place. And fold the, his little helmet looking weird thing back underneath. And then you want to take his tail and just fold it out. That's it. Well, lastly... Well, not lastly, um, then you want to flip these little guys up to reveal his sort of spine, his Ravage-esque spine, um, and then to fold his wings, basically you want to flip open the turbine things, which do spin, I think that's, uh, rather nice, uh, flip them open, flip this part out, and just pull. And then take this, and you have to, it has to be aligned, kind of, in like a weird way. Take that, and then, hold on. It's weird because it's, this plastic is so brittle. Um, that it has to be done just right. Because it, it feels like it's going to break. Also, um, wait, no. And then do the same on this wing. Take this little bit. Fold it in. Take the edge. Pull it out. And fold it all up. I mean, it doesn't really lock into place. It's just kind of poke and hope, I guess. So there we have Laserbeak in his bird mode, his sick bird mode, and I love this bird mode to absolute death. Everything about it, the, uh, the silver to red gradient and the paint, um, the mech tech ports on the heels which allows them to mount onto a Sentinel Prime and Shockwave. I mean, this toy just absolutely represents the, uh, the character in the film perfectly and another thing I noticed are these two turbines are obviously a representation of um, a cassette which um, 
I didn't notice at first, and then I was looking at him, trying to uh, compare him to like a regular cassette, and then it, it hit me. These are meant to be cassette uh, rewinders. I mean, that is so cool. I'm, I just love that. This has got to be one of my favorite toys of Dark of the Moon. Sorry, I didn't lock that in the place right. Anyway, yeah, this has got to be one of my favorite toys from the Dark of the Moon line. And if I could, I would, uh, well, I do. And I do, and I just keep him in bird mode. You don't even need to worry about his little hovercraft mode because it's stupid. Um, um, for articulation, the head's got, you know, more than enough ball joints. The mouth, uh, it opens and closes. The wings, you know, they turn up and down. They go up, go down, go up, go down. Uh, the tail is also on a couple ball joints, so you can do that. Um, his legs, his feet are on a ball joint, and his legs are on two joints like that. And I mean, he's just got as much articulation as you need to do badass poses. Now, he does come with two mech tech weapons. He comes with, um, two nearly identical, um... Um, like minigun laser things. Only one of them has a mech tech gimmick in which it goes like this. And then you've got this sort of laser blaster. And then this one is just molded to look like it has a mech tech gimmick, which it doesn't. Um, and that is for a specific reason. When you push this all the way to the front, you can take the barrel of this mech tech port weapon thing. Boom, and connect them together. Now you got a big ass mech tech gun. Um, but yeah, this is just a freaking big ass mech tech gun. So, yeah. Also, if you want, you can just plug them in, you know, very G1 style into the top of the top of his wings. I mean, they do look kind of funky because they're so big, but this is just laser bait. It is so awesome. I love this toy. So if you were ever on edge about buying this toy, just know that I highly recommend them. And I was a total hater at uh, at the beginning. I love this toy. Everything this toy represents, how perfectly it represents the character, the articulation, the possibility, which is actually the same thing. Um, it's just, it's just way too cool. I would have preferred to have a more true, actual, just solid, non-transforming figure because. I mean, the gamut, the transformation is stupid, the alt mode is stupid, um, so I would have just rather taken, like, a Rebel Tech. If they do make a Rebel Tech laser beak, I will buy it in a heartbeat. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the TF Review, and have a nice night.